In this video, we will talk about the anatomy of the flexor retinaculum. It is also known as carpal tunnel of hand. What is a flexor retinaculum? The flexor retinaculum is a strong, fibrous band located on the palmar side of the wrist. Its primary function is to hold the flexor tendons in place as they pass through the carpal tunnel. How does it form the carpal tunnel? Flexor retinaculum bridges the palmar concavity of the wrist and converts it into a tunnel called the carpal tunnel. Anatomy of flexor retinaculum attachments medially. It is attached to the scaphoid and trapezium bones laterally. It is attached to the pisiform and hook of the hamate bones. What are tunnels within carpal tunnel? Besides forming the main carpal tunnel, flexor retinaculum also forms two extra smaller tunnels within it. These tunnels are called slips. They allow specific structures to pass through them. These are lateral deep slip. It is a tunnel for the tendon of flexor carpi radialis. Medial superficial slip. Ulnar vessels and nerves pass through this tunnel. Contents of the carpal tunnel. The flexor retinaculum forms the roof of the carpal tunnel, which contains flexor tendons, flexor digitorum superficialis, flexor digitorum profundus, and flexor pollicis longus tendons. Median nerve passes through the carpal tunnel, along with the flexor tendons. Anatomical relationships of flexor retinaculum. Superficial structures. Following structure pass superficial to flexor retinaculum. The palmar cutaneous branch of the median nerve, the palmar cutaneous branch of ulnar nerve, ulnar nerve, ulnar vessels, the tendon of palmaris lungus, thaner and hypothaner muscles arise from the retinaculum. Deep structures, following structure pass deep to the retinaculum. The carpal bones form the floor of the carpal tunnel beneath the flexor retinaculum. Median nerve. Four tendons of flexor digitorum superficialis, four tendons of flexor digitorum profundus, radial bursa, ulnar bursa, tendon of flexor pollicis lungus, tendon of flexor carpi radialis, 